Today, Mickey is getting a full-on pamper session. He also gets a little bit of a lick from Ruby, as well as getting a funky new haircut, and one of my sponges ends up missing. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're giving Mickey a bit of a pony makeover, because if you didn't know, Mickey is a pretty old guy now. How old is he? Is he, I think he's gonna be 25 soon? No, that is what, that is actually wild. Anyway, um, so he's pretty fluffy. He actually has Cushing's disease. So one of the sort of symptoms in that is that he gets really fluffy. It kind of gets out of control. Sometimes his hair can get so long, it can become a bit matted. Also, Mickey has quite a lot of different skin conditions. So another good reason why we're gonna give him a haircut, why we're gonna clip him, is so we can get to his more problem areas easier with his special magic cream, because he does have quite sensitive dry skin. But anyway, last night I gave Mickey a bit of a pre-pamper session because he was so disgusting. Um, he gets a little bit wet behind with the medication that he's on as well. So um, he does end up having quite pooey legs and a pooey tail. So I gave him a good old clean. He's looking like a polar bear now because he's so white and fluffy. I mean, he's not actually white. He's, his color is a cremello, but I like to call you my little pink pony because he has like a little pink nose and things like that. But anyway, um, the plan is to give him a haircut, but um, so I'm gonna take him, sometimes I call the wash bay the stocks. It kind of looks like he's in the stocks, like in a medieval kind of thing, gonna have tomatoes thrown at him. Don't worry, there are no tomatoes inside Mickey, it's all good. But anyway, I'm going to um, tie him up with a haylage net so he can have lots of food to keep him occupied. Although he does quite like being clipped, he kind of falls asleep. But anyway, let's take him over there. So as well as Mickey here, we also have Ruby who's just wandered off. She's not gonna be clipped, don't worry. Uh, Mickey, here is your haylage, there we go. Oh, he's in a licky mood. Licky Mickey. Licky Mickey. You're gonna be looking fresh. You're gonna be looking fresh. Oh, I'm being licked by, licked from all angles. Yes, oh, 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 even Mickey's getting a lick. Oh, I don't know what he thought about that. Mickey's getting a taste of his own medicine. Being licked back. So I was looking for a brush. This one will have to do. Um, also, if you hear any background noise, that is Ruby running around with her ball. Um, so she's making a bit of noise there, but anyway. Um, starting off, here are, I was gonna say my ingredients then. Here are the things I'm gonna be using. First off, I have a brush for kind of brushing away any of the excess fluff that Mickey loses. I also have some clipper oil for oiling my clippers. And then last and definitely not least, we have my list of clippers. These are the Eclipse ones, they're their newest ones. They're really light, got a really long battery as well. There's no cord, so you don't have to be worrying about getting tangled up in that. Ruby is still going off. See you later. Oh, she's she's really going. She's literally going up and down the drive. Anyway, um, also I thought I would talk about my outfit that I'm wearing today because one of the things I hate most about clipping is how itchy you get. So three donkeys have very kindly sent me one of their coveralls. This is the new waterproof one, which is perfect for the winter. That's the sort of outfit of the day. Now it's time to get Mickey clipped. He's clean. One of the most important things is to have a clean, dry horse when you clip them. If not, it can blunt the clipper blades. These are actually some new clipper blades I have on. Um, they're the cover coat ones, which are designed especially for horses and ponies that have cushings. You don't want to take too much off. Normally you clip horses because you ride them and they get sweaty and it's much more comfortable for them to not get all sweaty and to put rugs on them to keep them warm instead and then not have a rug when they're being exercised but Mickey here a lot of this is just down to his welfare making sure his coat doesn't get matted again as I said so we can get to his problem areas with his um, special creams but anyway let's make this pony a little bit more comfortable so Mickey, as I said before, is a bit of an older gentleman. So he has been clipped multiple times in his life. I'm just gonna turn the clippers on just because it's been a year since he's last been clipped. So you can remember what the noise sounds like. There we go. He's like, okay, that's a little loud. I'm gonna get used to it and then I'll just kind of walk around. Good boy, well done. The area that I always like to clip first is the stomach, or like his tummy, just because it's a nice flat surface. It's not like here where it's a little bit round or knobbly or that kind of thing. Like it is just a nice flat surface to go along. Um, and also he's not very sensitive here. For his example, the flank, this area here, is a little bit more sensitive. So I'm just gonna give it a try. Oh, wow. 
well. You can see here he has like some sensitive areas that are, that are a little bit crusty that he'll need his special medicated shampoo on. But you can see with the cover coat, it's not done like as much. It's not like he goes a little bit pink, as I said before. Oh, hello, Ruby. She's like, oh my goodness, what is all this fluff over here? So the first little patch of Mickey is now clipped. Don't worry, lots more satisfying clipping to come up. But first, I just wondered if I could very kindly ask you if you could like today's video and subscribe. Apparently only 20% of you that regularly watch my videos are subscribed to the channel. Ruby has just come crashing in. Um, but I really would appreciate it. It makes such a difference to me and the channel as well. So if you could do that, that would be amazing. But anyway, on to some more satisfying clipping of the Michael here. I have made my mark on Mickey so far. Again, these little areas here are just his sensitive bits that we need to put his medicated cream on. So we can actually see where they are now before it was just full on fluff. Um, but anyway, a little technique I like to do is try and do as long of a line as I can. So I've been kind of doing it up his back as well and make sure you always go against the fluff or against his coat. Um, but there we go. You can see there are some areas where they're a little bit stripy. But I'm just gonna go over these little areas. I normally like to do everything and then do finishing touches. But just for an example, you can see there's a little bit of a line here. So I'm just gonna even that out. Step up in the building, killing it. They thought I wouldn't. Zero to a hundred, baby, I'm dripping. so itchy meh meh i need like a towel or something but i think i'm just wiping more hair into the hair on my face oh, oh itchy itchy yeah you do it like that kiss it like that making it last fast bring it right back wear it like that move it like that like it like do it like that kiss it like that making it so here you can see we have Mickey's sort of main problem area. So it's a really good job that we have clipped him because if not, we wouldn't have known that's there. So now we can put his cream on, we can give him a medicated wash and we can actually treat him. So hopefully this will all clear up in a couple of days and he'll be feeling a lot less itchy and a lot more comfortable. Drowning in the lost emotion Crying like some kind of ocean from my eyes But I got a part of the hopeless yeah, I got over you last night Wasn't it easy to believe I would be broken forever Thought I would never see the light You didn't need me so I went looking for somebody better Thought I'd be sadder So I've done a little heart on Mickey here I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not But I just wanted to see with my clipping skills if I could do something a little bit artistic but I think it looks really cute but then again I'm thinking if there are some patches under there that we do need to treat I don't want to go for prettiness over Mickey's health but um, I'm going to just use some scissors now he's really sensitive on his legs with the clippers so I like to just use some scissors also I like to leave a bit of hair on his legs just to protect them from the mud and things um, but what I like to do is just grab a chunk and then just snip it off kind of like to fluff it out and then kind of like snip up Upwards. Sometimes I think you can get a comb as well and that works really well and making it look a little bit more natural but we're just going for it like getting all that crusty crust. Hey Mickey. All right because Mickey's mane is looking a little bit scraggly I know in the horse world we're not supposed to cut horses mane but Mickey is literally a retired pony like he does I mean he looks very retired look at his mane but anyway I'm just gonna give it a tiny bit of a neaten up just to just gonna get the ends gonna do a little snippage it's gonna be okay even that just makes it look so much thicker now hey maybe I'll just do a little bit more I always get a bit carried away I like that as if it was never there oh, wait. Ruby that's naughty what have you done to my sponges I was just about to grab my sponge to give Mickey a wash in the wash bay and Ruby has found my sponge out of my wash bucket and absolutely destroyed it. Now, she's a really good dog in the sense that when she's in the house, she never destroys anything. The only thing that she knows that she's allowed to destroy, which she does destroy, are her toys. When she's in the yard though, I think she thinks all of my grooming brushes and you know my sponges and things because she's outside. She thinks they're her outside toys when they're not, they're my grooming things. So the sponge here, 
has just been, it's been mullered. It's been absolutely destroyed. What have you done to it, Ruby? Oh dear. Now Mickey is all clipped, it's time to give him a wash in his special medicated wash because we can see all the sensitive parts and now we can treat them and hopefully in the next couple of days they should clear up really really well and you should be feeling a little bit less itchy and a lot more comfortable. But anyway, being washed is probably Mickey's like least favourite part just because when the water droplets drip down his legs he thinks they're flies so he swishes his tail a bit and stamps his feet but the actual washing, we're going to use nice warm water so he's all comfortable. Aren't we, Mickey? Yeah. Mwah. Don't worry, guys. I do have a brand new sponge that Ruby has not touched yet that I think actually one of you guys very kindly got me at one of my meet and greets. So anyway, I'm going to give Mickey a good old scrub with that. So this is the Medi Slosh from Lemieux. You can see there's actual flies getting him as well. So he's getting a little agitato. Aren't you, Mickey? It's okay. I know, you don't like the dripping. I know, but it's for your own good to make him less itchy. I know. So Mickey is all washed off now. I'm just gonna put the dry me on. So um, hopefully he can dry a little bit quicker. And also he's got um, the heat as well. So he's nice and toasty. So we started off with a polar bear and we now have what looks like a sports pony. I don't know if you heard that, but you gave a little squeal in the background then. Anyway, the last thing I need to do, which is Mickey's least, least, least favorite thing in the world is having his Suda cream. There's actually a brand new pot. So lucky mix. Um, to go on all of his sensitive areas, which obviously you do not like being touched that much in those areas, do you? No. So are you going to be a big, brave boy while I put your special cream on? Yeah? Oh boy. Mwah. Sorry, I couldn't really kiss you then. My cat was poking you, wasn't it? Well, anyway, I have just put on some baby oil all over his legs, on his neck as well, because that's just where he tends to roll and get dirty in the field. And it kind of acts as like a water mud barrier. So number one, the mud brushes off easier because obviously water and oil kind of separate. And also to give him a bit of a moisturize as well. So this pony should be feeling a lot more comfortable now. What do I have here? Do I have some Bailey's tasty treats? <gasps> I do. There we all. Oh, there we go. For a very good boy. Yeah. Were you so good having all your clipping done and your grooming and your bathing and all your cream? You've had a full-on pump session today, haven't you, Mickey? Good man, you're gonna feel a lot more comfy now. Yeah. So Mickey has been incredible today. He's been so well behaved. He stood so still. So I think it's now time that he deserves to go back out into the field. Isn't it Mickle? Mickle? I was gonna say Michael then. Mickle Pickle. That can be your new nickname. Mickle Pickle. Anyway. Thank you so much everybody for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you as well to Lister and to um, Three Donkeys for very kindly providing the clippers and also the beautiful um, coveralls that I've been wearing today. I'll leave some links below if you wanna check them out. Um, but anyway, um, with no further ado, I'll just say thank you for watching. If you can like and subscribe again, that would be incredible and I will see you all next time. Bye. You really are one licky boy, aren't you? You are. A real little, little Mickle, little Mickle Michael. <laughs>